Hey guys, welcome to Joe Art One and Co Sports and Gaming Round 12 of the TNRL Telstra Premiership. Tonight I'll be doing the team list by myself due to the fact that two will be busy and currently can't attend tonight. But that's alright, you've got me tonight and I'll be showing you each game for this week's Indigenous Round. And guys, just to let you guys know, um, if you stay after this video, um, there'll be another video posted later about all the indigenous jerseys, my opinions of them, and then a question for all the fans that watch my YouTube channel, um, or our YouTube channel. What has, well, actually, I won't even get to that. We'll get to that very much later on. But welcome to the indigenous round in the NRL. All right, let's get on with the program. So, guys, you guys know we've got our tipping comp still going ahead. Make sure you guys Join the tipping comp, no, and nasally or no, I think nowsy, nowsy. You're doing very well at the moment. I've seen you're still at the top, so well done, bro. All the best, um, guys. If you haven't already, the codes there, and also the um, the actual title of our chat or our competition. Alrighty, moving on to the games for this week, and we've got some belters. Starting off with Thursday, two games Friday. Three games Saturday and two games Sunday. Let's begin with first off the first game on Thursday. We've got the Melbourne Storms taking on the Manly Warringah Seagulls. A massive matchup at 7:55 p.m. at Australian Eastern Standard Time on the White World of Sport, Fox League, and of course KO Sport. So let's get into it. So let's go for the backs for Melbourne Storms. We've got Nick Meany, Dean Lara Lamia. Marini, CV, Justin Ollum, Xavier Coates, Cameron Munster, Jerome Hughes. For the forwards, we've got Jesse Bromwich, Harry Grant, Tiwi K Kameka, Atui Kameka, Felice Kafusi, Kenneth Bromwich, and Josh King. For the interchange, we've got Brandon Smith, Tyrone Wishart, Trent Laurie, Alexander McDonald, or Alec McDonald, sorry, Chris Lewis, uh, sorry, for the reserves, Chris Lewis, Jane Nicarima, Jordan Grant, Tom Eisenhuth, Will Warbrick, Bronson Garlic, Jack Hallway. And then for the backs for the Manly Warringah Seagulls, we have Ruben Garrick, George Tafua, Morgan Harper, Totola Kola, sorry, Totoa Kola, Christian Tupaluda, Kieran Foran, Daily Cherubins. And for the forwards, we've got Josh Aloye, Lachlan Croker, Tafua Sipley, Hameli Olokotoa, David, oh, sorry, Andrew Davey, Jack Trivo, oh, Jake Trivoyevich, oh my gosh, my language today. And then for the interchange, we've got Dylan Walker, Josh Schuster, Ethan Bormore, Sean Kempe. And for the reserves, we've got Kurt D. Lewis, Jason Saab, K.O. Weeks, Vili Artme, Fafida, Alec Tavlaki, thanks, Tui Tavaki, James Hupfries, and Jacob Sykes. And Manly, of course, will be now without Tom Trevojevic as his injury has been confirmed a end of season injury so all the best for the recovery for tom trevojevic but this game i'm going melbourne um melbourne don't usually lose two games in a row they lost against the cowboys last week and they lost in the magic round against the panthers i don't see them losing again i really think they're going to be firing this week i'm tipping melbourne to the win oh, sorry, to win this game actually Alrighty, moving on to the Friday match, the first Friday match, and of course, it's the Penrith Panthers taking on the Cowboys at 6pm at Blue Bit Stadium on a Friday. This game will be streamed live on Fox League and KO Sport. Let's start off with the Penrith Panthers. We've got for the backs, Dylan Edwards, Talani May, Isaac Tago, um, Stephen Croydon, Brian To'o, Jerome Luai, Nathan Cleary, Moses Leota, Appy Coruscant, James Fisher Harris, Viliami Kikau, Liam Martin, Isaiah Yo, that was for the Ford, sorry. Uh, for the interchange, we've got Mitch Kenny, Scott Sorensen, Spencer Leon, and Jerome Salomon. And for the reserves, we've got Robert Jennings, Chris Smith, Jemiah, Hopgood, Sean O'Sullivan, Matthew Eisenhuth, Sony Luke, Charles Staines. And for the North Queensland Cowboys, we have for the backs, Scott Drinkwater, Hamisai Tabido Fado. Valentine Holmes, Peter Hiku, Murray Talangi, Tom Dearden, Chad Townsend. And for the forwards, we got John McLean, Reese Robson, Ruben Cotter, Tom Gilbert, Jeremiah Nani, and Cohen Hess. And for the interchange, we got Jake Granville, 
Hermi Luki, Jermaine, Tano Brown, Griffin Naiman. And for the reserves, we've got Talani Sadruko, Ben Hampton, Ben Conda, Connelly Lumelu, Riley Price, Brendan Elliott, and Brandon Fiery. Well, these two teams, it's going to be an epic matchup between these two. The Panthers and the Cowboys both had a win last week. Panthers won against my Roosters. But, you know, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. And then the Cowboys absolutely brilliantly beat the Melbourne Storms last week. In a game they were really not tipped to win, but the Cowboys did it. I've got a feeling the Panthers will win this one back at home after being the Roosters at the SCG. I've got a weird feeling they're going to beat the Cowboys very easily. But I reckon the Cowboys, if they really want to win this game, they have to really fight for this one. And I reckon they've got a chance. All right, moving on to the second game on the Friday evening. And of course, it's the Brisbane Broncos taking on the Gold Coast Titans at 7.55 p.m. at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. And this game will be live streamed on the Wide World of Sports and Fox League and KO Sport. Alrighty, let's start with the backs for the Brisbane Broncos. We have for the backs Timari Martin, Corey Oates, Katoni Staggs, Herbie Farmworth, Selwyn Cobbo, Tyson Gamble, and Ezra Mam. Man, because uh, Adam Reynolds is out again this week with a hamstring injury. Oh, groin injury. For the forwards, we've got Corey, Corey Jensen, uh, Billy Walters, Payne Haas, Kurt Capewell, Jordan Rickey, Patrick Kerrigan. For the interchange, we've got Corey Pakes, Kobe Harrington, Tom Fl Thomas Flegler, Kenea Fasili. And for the reserves, we've got Brenko Lee, Tui Rabadi, Reese Kennedy, Danielius Huda, John Pereira, Xavier Wilson, and of course, David Mead. And moving on to the Gold Coast Titans, we have for the backs, Jaden Campbell, Corey Thompson, Brian Kelly, Isam Masters, Jermaine Asako, Alexander Brimson, Toby Sexton. For the forwards, we've got Moeka, Fodueka, Aaron Clark, Jared Wallace, Isaac Liu, Bo Fermor, and Tino Famasuli. And for the interchange, we've got Tannen Boyd, Jermaine, Jolliffe, Sam Mc, uh, uh, McIntyre, yep, Sam Lissoni. And for the reserves, we've got Paul Turner, Herman SCSC, Greg Marzum, Aaron Booth, Alafaya. Khan Paria and Dave Fafita and Patrick Herbert. It's going to be an epic match to it's a Queensland derby between the Gold Coast and Brisbane. I've got the Broncos even though no Adam Reynolds this week I reckon they'll have a very very good game. I think they'll definitely beat Gold Coast by a lot so I'm going the Broncos here. Moving on to the first game of Super Saturday we have the Warriors taking on the Newcastle Knights, 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time at Morndale Stadium, Redcliffe. And this game will be streamed on Fox Sport and Chaos Sport, which every Super Saturday match is pretty much streamed on those two um, you know, platforms. <laughs> um, so let's go for the team list for the New Zealand Warriors. We have Reese Walsh, Dylan Wateni Zelezniak, Viliami Vele, Adam Pompey, Marcelo Matoya, Chanel, Harris Tavita, Sean Johnson, Ben Murdoch Marcilla, Freddie Lustig, Jazz Tavanga, Ewan Aiken, Torhu Harris, and Jack Murchie. For the interchange, we got Talani Atukaloa, uh, Aaron Penne, Panti Afoa, Elise Katoa, and for the reserves, we got Jesse Arthurs, Rocco Berry, Denarius Louis, Jermaine Assi, Pride Peterson Robardi, Ronaldo Volkman, and Jack Furry. Three. Yeah, I think so. That's on. And for the Newcastle Knights, we have Kaelin Ponga, Edric Lee, Dan Gagai, Anali Tula, uh, Domenico Young, Anthony Milford, Jake Clifford. For the forwards, we've got Dave Clemmer, Chris Randall, Daniel Saifidi, Tyson Brazil, Lachlan Fitzgibbon, Mitch Barnett. That's for the forwards, by the way. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit um, this week because I am by myself, so, you know. Um, for the interchange, we've got Phoenix Crossland, Jacob Saifidi, Leo Thompson, Matt Kruger. And for the reserves, we have Semi Saggy, uh, Simi Sasago, uh, Brody Johnson, uh, Tex Hoy, Sasua Sasosu, Palmer Solo, 
Whoa, okay. Christian and Christian Mapalangi? Yeah. And Braden Musgrove. Well, that's the Warriors and the Newcastle Knights on the first game of Super Saturday. And of course, it's going to be a belter. You got the Warriors, you got Newcastle. Two teams this year, even though they haven't been playing the best, they're two teams this year that I reckon can have a red hot crack at taking down some teams that, you know, still fighting for a position in the top eight. So, you got to give them that. I'm going to go. I'm going to back the Newcastle Knights this one. I think this week, um, I think Newcastle can turn it up against um, the Warriors. Uh, Newcastle lost last week against the Broncos. It was a game that... I, I knew the Broncos were going to win that one. It, it was one of those games that I straight away knew Broncos. It doesn't matter if they didn't have Adam Reynolds that night. They, they won it pretty cleanly. Um, but this game has potential for one of these two teams to win, so... I'm back in the Knights. All right, moving on to the second game of Super Saturday at 5.30 p.m. at a core stadium, Sydney. At, of course, on Fox League and KS Sport, we have the Rabbits taking on the Tigers. Let's get into the team list for the booth. We got for the Rabbitohs, we got Blake Taff, Alex Johnson. Oh, sorry, for the backs, sorry, always forget that. Um, Alex Johnson, sorry. Blake Taft, Alex Johnson, Jackson Paulo, Campbell Graham, Tanani Mile, Cody Walker, and Lachlan Elias. For the Fords, we got Tavita Tolo, Damian Cook, Thomas Burgess, Kina Kalamatangi, Jai Arrow, and Hamo Selly. And for the interchange, we got Liam Knight, Mark Nichols, Savili Havili. Actually, I really do like that name, actually, for the rabbit. Savili Havili. It's a nice one. Good name. Um, Cody Nikarima. And then for the reserves, we've got Josh Mansell, Isaiah Tass, Trent Peoples, Shaq Mitchell, uh, Dion Hawkins, Isaac Thompson, and Cameron Murray. Their international captain is out for this week. Can the Rabbitohs still pull up a win against the Tigers? Let's see. But let's get into the Tigers team list. We've got for the backs, Dane Laurie, Asua Kapoa, Stafford Toa, Bretton Naden. Keenan Mamalo, I was like, Ken Mamalo, oh my gosh, uh, Luke Brooks and Jackson Hastings. For the forwards, we have James Tamo, Jake Simpkins, Zane Musgrove, Luke Gardner, Luciano Lelua, Joe Ofangawi, and for the interchange, we've got Keelam Talangi, Alex Twal, Thermal Brown, Stefano Utamano. And for the reserves, we got Alex Sifarf, Jock Madden, Jacob Littleman, Tyrone Peachy, Phone Apollo, Junior Tupo, David Fafida. So, no, David Nofaluma. Woo. I keep thinking about Gorkos, I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, but that is the team list for the South Sydney Rabbitohs and the West Tigers. An interesting matchup, especially with the fact that these two teams last week, I think the Rabbitohs, if I'm not wrong, lost. Yeah, I can't remember. No, yeah, they lost against the Canberra Raiders, and the Tigers had a massive win against the Bulldogs. This one's going to be hard. Um, both teams on their days could be really good. Just depends on the way that both these teams turn up. Um, I'm going to go with the... Um, it's a hard one, because these Tigers and... I'm going to go with Tigers. I'm going to give the Tigers a bit of a leg up here. Um... I reckon they might have the edge to take down the Rabbitohs. I know it's indigenous round. I know the Rabbitohs will be firing for this one, but uh, they haven't really um, had great performances lately. It's just, it's one of those things at the moment. If if they do, um, it'll be interesting because, again, the Rabbitohs haven't been playing consistently this year, so it, it look... I'm going to say this is an open-ended game. Both teams can realistically win it. It just depends how the Rabbitohs are going to be able to cope with Jackson Hastings coming up against them, as well as Luke Brooks back in the spine. So, who knows? All right, moving on to the last game of Super Saturday. And, of course, it's a belter. It's the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks taking on the Sydney Roosters at 7.35pm at Points Bet Stadium, Sydney. 
And this game will be streamed, of course, on Fox League, KO Sport, and any other streaming things. So, let's get into the team list for these two. We got for the backs, William Kennedy, Sione Katoa, Corey Tracy, sorry, Connor Tracy, uh, Soeka Talangi, uh, Talaki, Ronaldo Mulatalo, Matt Moylan, Nico Hines. For the forwards, we've got Toby Rudolph, Blake Braley, is it, yeah, Blake Braley, Royce Hunt, Britton Nakora, Wade Graham, and Cameron McInnes. For the interchange, we got Aiden Tolman, Brandon Trindle, Deeg Wilton, and Andrew Fafita. And for the reserves, we got Lachlan Miller, Thomas Hazleton, uh, Mauro Harodi, Kay Dykes, Jesse Kalani, and Lute Metcalf, and Kalei Iro. And for the Sydney Roosters, we have for the backs, James Tedesco, Daniel Tupo, Paul Mavroski, Joseph Manu, Joseph Suwali, Sam Walker, Luke Keery. For the forwards, we have Jared Maria Hargraves, Drew Hutchinson, Lily, uh, Lindsay Collins, sorry, Angus Croydon, Nat Butcher, and Salika uh, Takiaho. Oh, sorry, Sol Solio... Uh, Sio Su, uh, Su, oh my gosh, Sio Sua Tokiaho. And for the interchange, we've got Connor Watson, Fletcher Baker, Stilly Tupanua, and Tyrell May could also play this game as well after last week his first introduction to the team. So exciting news for him. It's going to be interesting. And the reserves are Lachlan Lamb, Egan Butcher, Ben Marsh, Marshke, Billy Smith, Kevin Naguama, Adam Kirrington and Daniel Saluka for feeder. Two teams looking for a lot of, how do I put this at the moment? Both these teams are really hoping for a good win. Uh, the Roosters coming off a loss against the Panthers last week. It, they were good in the first half against the Panthers, but again, they struggled to be able to hold the Panthers out towards the back end of that game. And the Sharks, they did very well against the Gold Coast, and they also struggled to kind of keep Gold Coast away from catching up. But Sharks won that game, and difference was the Roosters lost. But either way, this week, I'm back in my Roosters. I have to. Um, I really do believe that the Roosters will bounce back this week. I think this week could be the right steps for them to bounce back. And again, we will be probably the underdogs in this one, because again, the Sharks at the moment are on a high. They... Have been winning a lot of good games they've had some interesting losses but so will the roosters resort to some of those losses to see where the weaknesses are who knows again it just depends on the day moving on to our sunday football our first game is coming to you live from belmore sports ground and of course it'll be the 2 p.m clash between the canterbury bankstown bulldogs taking on the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Alright, let's begin with the Canterbury Bulldogs. This is the side that will be lining up this week. For the backs, Matt Dufty, Jacob Caraz, Aaron Shko uh, Shoop, Jake Avarillo, Josh Adokar, Matt Burden, Kyle Flanagan. For the forwards, we got Luke Thompson, Jeremy Marshall King, Paul Vaughan, Corey Waddell, Max King, Josh Jackson. And for the interchange, we've got Zaki Doaka Clay. Is that? Do, do, Doka Clay. Tavita Pangoi Jr., Chris Patalo, Raymond Fishers Harris. Oh, sorry. Raymond. Oh my gosh. Patale. Um, I Sometimes I get his name okay, but uh, is it. Patala. Marina. Raymond. Whatever. Raymond Mara. Um, and for the reserves, we've got Ava Semilafungi, Jax Topin, uh, Jackson type, uh, Typin, Brandon Wakeham, Joe Stimson, Declan Casey, Jaden Ockenbo, and Paul Alamotoi. And for the Dragons, we have Cody Ramsey, Matthew Feige, Fe 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 Moses Suli, Zach Lomax, Mikhail Ravalawa, Tatua Mona, and Ben Hunt. For the forwards, we've got Francis Molo, Moses Embo, Blake Laurie, Jack Bird, Tarek Sims, Jack DeBellin. 
For the interchange, we've got Andrew McCulloch, Aaron Woods, Mitch Molo, and Tyrell Fumano. Fumano. And for the reserves, we've got Jack Krogowski, was it? Uh, Goskowski, Tatua Monga, Jaden S- Sullivan, uh, Tyrell Sloan, Josh Kerr, Jackson Ford, and Jaden Hunt. What is it? Yeah, Jaden Hunt. An interesting matchup between these two, and especially for the Bulldogs at their spiritual home ground of the Belmore section. Well, it's going to be an interesting match between these two. The Bulldogs coming off that loss against the Tigers. Even though they did fight back in that game, that was the one thing that was very not highlighted as much. But then again, the Tigers did run away with that victory, and it was very convincing the way they won it. Um, but this week could be a rebound for the Bulldogs. They got Josh Adokar back, so maybe there is something for the Bulldogs. But if I had to go with betting wise um, and tipping, of course, like we are doing in our comp, I'm going the Dragons. Uh, look. Maybe the Bulldogs can make a miracle win at Belmore. It's their spiritual home ground. They have to. But again, I think the Dragons may find a way to win this game cleanly because last week, you know, they they played they played really good. Even though they almost lost against the Warriors, they really did play with intent still. Whereas the Bulldogs, I think they still have to find their identity. I think the Bulldogs are struggling to find the Bulldogs' identity and how they used to play football. Um, The only way that the Bulldogs can win this game is just obviously putting pressure on the Dragons' forwards and putting pressure on their attack. So I'm going to go the Dragons, but the Bulldogs have a red-hot chance to get the Dragons here. So we'll leave that one up to decision. Alrighty. Moving on to the last game of the Indigenous round. It is the Canberra Raiders taking on the Parramatta Eels at 405 at Geo Stadium, Canberra. And this game will be streamed on the Wide World Sport, Fox League and KF Sport. And let's get into the team list for the last match of the round. For the Canberra Raiders, we have Xavier Savage, Nick Kotrick. Jared Croker, Matthew Tomoko, uh, Jordan Rapana, Jack Wyden, and um, Jamal Fogarty. Uh, yeah, and by the way, J- Jared Croker's back, so what a massive um, thing for the Canberra Raiders. Well done, guys. You got your inspirational captain back. For the Fords, we have Josh Papali, Zach Wolford, Joseph Tarpany, Hudson Young, Elliot Whitehead, and Adam Elliott. For the interchange, we got Tom Starling, Ryan Sutton, Sebastian, Chris, Corey Horsburgh, and for the reserves, we've got Brad Schneider, Harry Rushton, James Skriller, Corey Haranunaira, Corey Haria, yeah, I think that's how you say it, yeah, uh, Trey Mooney, Emre Gula, and Matt Frawley. And for the Parramatta Eels, we have for the backs, Clint Gutherson, w- uh, Wonga Blake, Will Pennessy, Tom Opchek, Bailey S- um, Simonson. Dylan Brown, Mitch Moses. For the forwards, we've got Regan Campbell Gillard, Reed Marnie, Junior Polo, Sean Lane, Maratan Nukarima, uh, Isaiah Papalihi, and then we've got for the interchange, Makaya Makatoa, Ryan Madison, Oregon Gafusi, Nathan Brown. And for the reserves, we've got Bryce Cartroy, Jake Arthur, Mitch Rain, Hayes Perham, Sean Russell, KY Rodwell, and Mike Sasebo. Now, Mike Sasebo still hasn't come back into the squad, but he's confirming that he is getting back to his fitness level. Um, that soon, probably after the buy, I think, for Parramatta, he'll be coming back in. I don't know when that is actually for Parramatta. But um, that's what I'm hearing. And also, Canberra, Jamal Fogarty, and Jared Croker are back. It's two um, you know, good players to have on the squad, so all good for Canberra. Well, this is going to be a heavily... A very hectic game, especially between these two. You got Canberra, you got Para. This is a game that is going to really test both these teams. Canberra, they've been, they haven't really had a great performance this year. Their best performance was probably what, against the Rabbitohs last week. Um, but they're going to have to play a whole different style against the uh, Paramount Eels. I'm going to go. Parramatta for this one, only because I haven't seen enough from Canberra this year to go, you know what, 
they're in this race for the finals. They haven't convinced me yet that they're going to fight for this one, so I'm kind of just going to go Parramatta for this one. I don't think Canberra, unless Canberra can really, at Geo Stadium, hopefully if it's a full crowd or full house, I reckon Canberra will be screaming loud and hard enough for their team to push through, but it just depends on the way everything goes. Well, guys, that is it from us. Thank you guys so much for watching this stream. Guys, make sure you also stay um, for the next video. Hopefully, you guys will see it after this. Or maybe in tomorrow. It depends on how the posting for the videos go today. Guys, make sure to follow us on Instagram at joel1andco. Sports, oh, sorry, joel1andco. And also, follow us on YouTube. Or subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Um, joel1andco. Sports and Gaming. We do latest content for NRL team lists and everything like that. Soon we should be getting into NFL videos. We'll just see how everything goes. Um, but yeah, and guys, there will be vlogs just last week, unfortunately, due to the fact that it was pretty much pouring down and at the video qualities weren't great. And we did want to post something, but because remember, we are only filming off um, my phone. It's a iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it didn't really capture every single it took photos amazing photos amazing little quick little videos but i couldn't do any taping during the game because it was really pouring down at some point so unfortunately guys didn't get the vlog this week but that's okay there will be hopefully some games we might be going to this year it just depends on how everything goes but either way guys thank you so much for watching the video See you guys next week if you don't watch the next video after this one. See you guys next week for the round 13 teamless and key matchups. Do, 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 do. And guys, enjoy the indigenous round. It's such a prestigious round in the NRL. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and yeah. Um, yeah, just enjoy the week. Um, if you're going out to any of the indigenous games, enjoy the spectacle. I haven't personally been to a Jesus game yet, but I've heard from a lot of friends and stuff like that that it's the best spectacle for a NRL game. So, guys, enjoy it. Enjoy the jerseys on the weekend, and see you guys next week. Bye! Hi, guys.